Congratulations. 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 Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to right Smash there. Smash like. <laughs> that right there is now our advertisement. <laughs> I'm just cut Great. out the like, comment, subscribe. It's just going to be that. Dab on that bell. <laughs> <laughs> Dab right. on that bell. Welcome to Heat Wave. It's been about three weeks. My name is Michelle Belcher. I'm joined with Brittany Saturn. Hello. And over the internet. <laughs> We've got Jairus Mitchell. At the hip. And Chris, it's the Hutch Hutcherson. Thanks, Michelle. So we saw last week we had a little bit of high temperatures. Uh, so let's go to the Doppler radar. We can see we've got a little bit of high moisture coming in, a lot of hot air coming in. So we're looking at, we're looking at the uh, the seven-day forecast. we got Monday. we got a little bit of a breeze, maybe some rain. Uh, but after that, it's going to be nothing but humidity. Back I like you, how you did the weather, but you adopted the voice of the traffic reporter. <laughs> yeah, like yep. the person who is in a helicopter, just like screaming over the the sound of the engine. <laughs> I mean, what better way to view the weather than from a helicopter? That's true. Exactly. <laughs> that way, you can really look down on the weather. <laughs> he really, he really mm -hmm. feels it. He's there. He's in the field. Yeah. Um, he did two he's, tours, and he's got the true weather. passion for his. <laughs> Due to uh, uh, let's just blame the last three weeks. Of Why do you have to draw attention to it? Huh? Why do you have to draw attention to it? Is that a way to shame yourself? Don't shame yourself. I don't, I'm not. There's no like. It, <laughs> I don't want to not talk about it. <laughs> People who watch us definitely know, and you want to say something <laughs> like, "Hey, shit happened." Hey, we Zach, have lives. It was kind of a exist? busy three weeks. Bang, yeah, bingo, was. that's all I was going to say. Why do you have to shame me about it? <laughs> I thought you were I was fine spiraling like, into a sadness place about, about missing. It? No, about I was not talking like, to each other. Yo, what's up? We're busy. We're cool. Look, the only real victims in this situation is our friendship. This, the, the weird thing about this episode, though, is that this is now the episode uh, that where we've had more COVID episodes than normal episodes. <laughs> Man, 2020 was a good year to start a podcast with I, each other. A live in-person video out with podcast. Your friends. Yeah. 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 Fuck you. <laughs> um and, you know, that's fun. Whatever. We'll deal with it. That's fun whatever. Uh, but yeah. We'll deal with it. I you know, I still really appreciate you guys coming and talking with us cuz like this is the only time I really get to hang out with you guys, especially Jairus, because like I don't want to kill him. Yeah, all right. And I so. do appreciate that. <laughs> I don't want you to kill me either. I, you know, I've got, I forget how this works. Who goes first? Um, <laughs> should What's I be recording? <laughs> Can I yes. don't say that? Oh. We'll fix it in post. Yeah, it's fine. that's, <laughs> that's perfectly Perfect. fun. <laughs> I just, we'll just have. I'll just start putting up like uh, subtitles for Jerry. Why don't you just up? Upload so like work. individual tracks and let everyone else figure out how to edit it all together. It's like a choose your own podcast. <laughs> so I actually get so, to hear the podcast that way sometimes, and it's all it's real weird. Um, I I was uh, I stumbled on, across a uh, Twitch stream last night where um, uh, one streamer was uh, co co-streaming and talking to another streamer over Discord. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other streamer um, had not figured out how to get the Discord audio <laughs> onto his stream. Oh, perfect. So it was literally just a one-sided conversation on, on his stream. Very, just <laughs> very entertaining. That's <laughs> yeah. That's real good. I so like how, do you, how do you do that? Is that just like set up a secondary input with Discord oh, no, as you the just, output? You just make it listen to your system sound. Oh, okay. It's, it's really simple. Th it's just that like means it also setting. hears your porn. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, how do you yeah, yeah you gotta close well, those tabs like, but if you don't want to close those tabs how do you do that without it hearing the a porn? second computer okay <laughs> a porn computer oh. a porn specific computer it moans when you turn it Brit on isn't that what laptops are for <laughs> britney's got the post rats <laughs> yes i love it it's waterproof <laughs> <Water>. <laughs> <laughs> i need my it's my tub laptop 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My tub laptop. <laughs> Tub top. Tub. I was thinking laptop, but laptop sounds real gross. It does. It does sound really gross. Ooh, laptop. Oh, Tubs God. are very heavy. I'm imagining just the tub for your genitals now. Like a small tub. A small genitals. little tub that you can dip your it's, genitals it's in. Called it's called a toilet cup. <laughs> That's how you use a toilet. That's not how you That's use perfect. a toilet. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I just thought you just cleaned it that yeah. way, right? Just dip it in. Yeah, you just teabag the toilet. <laughs> it's like a roast beef sandwich, except your balls. All right, that's enough. <laughs> hey, Jairus, what are we talking about? Well, I was going to talk about like <laughs> albums, music albums that changed okay. who you were as a person. But now I just want to keep talking about dumb shit. Um, <laughs> so I'm. I would still like to talk about albums that changed who you are as a person. Um, mm-hmm. But with the assumption that I'm going to try and derail it in some weird directions. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. I'm, I'm down for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I need so, unanimous uh, consent. I, yeah, I need I, exuberant I, uh, consent as well. Please, please, please take us on the crazy train. My notary is here. I'm signing oh. the papers. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm waiting. Okay, my fax machine's going off. I've got it, Hutch. Thank you. Um, Ah, So what album changed, like, album or albums changed your life? And that could be your world, the way you thought about music, the way you thought about yourself, or anything, really. Um, So I think that's... uh, I want to add to this, like, just a... Oh, you're yes-anding my question. (laughs) <laughs> I am. So a lot of us listen to albums. I listen to albums. When I listen to music, I tend to listen to long form things like an album. But with today's popular stuff, a lot of us only listen to songs. And do you listen to albums? Well, I'm too old now to be changing my ways. So yeah. even if I did listen to an album now, I'm set in my ways. <laughs> okay, okay, got it. In- <laughs> so all of this will purely come from my youth, my youthful days when I was impressionable and full of hope and dreams and When she was ambition. doing the foxtrot <laughs> and uh, dancing, <laughs> drinking bathtub gin, I guess. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean... Toilet gin. Toilet, but toilet gin. <laughs> that sounds like the name to a good album. But toilet you spell gin. toilet T O Y L I T. Yeah. Oh boy. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Marketing, so for I love me, it. it was uh, DJ Shadows introducing, or uh, okay. the soundtrack to Ghost Dog Way of the Samurai, um, and. So, like, in the late 90s, I I was one of those tedious, awful people who, when you asked them what kind of music they liked, I'd say, everything but hip-hop and country. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then I heard uh, DJ Shadow, and I was like, oh, okay, no, this is fucking amazing, and I'm an idiot for mm-hmm. not realizing that like music is a spectrum and that there's good shit and bad shit and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, I definitely came from and that also Wu-Tang area. Clan. It's kind of hard. <laughs> Wu-Tang Clan's always amazing. <clears throat> DJ Shadow had a lot of drum and bass, didn't he? Yeah, but the it so the thing up. that struck me, like I I never liked I could never get down with pure electronic music. Um and it was mm. just cuz it was too synthy. But when I heard uh, DJ Shadow and part of what led to me later liking Kanye West, who's now an insane person, um, was like the (laughs) old instrumental loops and uh, just like the creativity of creating uh, the component parts of the soundtrack or of of the of the song. Um, And in introducing, there's like a lot of weird like there's synthesizer but there's also a lot of like weird piano and trumpets and like brass instruments and things that have no identifiable characteristics. And it was the first time where I was just kind of like, Oh shit. Huh? 
So I don't know who DJ Shadow is. I've never you heard do. of this artist uh, before. So the opening theme song for Fast and the Furious 3 Tokyo Drift, uh, <laughs> that is one of his songs. <laughs> okay, okay, well, it's been a minute, <laughs> but I believe you. Um, sadly, that, jo- that song didn't jump into my head when you said mm. <laughs> when and where. <laughs> But I, I mean, I'm going to check it out because I'm always interested in new stuff. Yeah. But jumping off what you said, one of the biggest albums for me was definitely My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy by Kanye West. Yes, he's crazy now. Well, he was crazy um, then. I don't re- he was just he was Yeah, but he, he, he... Yes. I wish he would just make music because I love his music. <laughs> well, even then, like... He's a terrible I, I, I was rapper, fine with him though. Being... He's just a, an amazing... Yeah music he's a really good producer yeah yeah Yeah. um but as far and i wouldn't say he's a terrible rapper i would say he's a he's he's an elementary rapper yes he but uh, compared to like uh all of his contemporaries yeah he's mm, not good but (laughs) compared to people who are good maybe not so good (laughs) um but like my beautiful chart twisted fantasy specifically um there's only so much rapping on it and the rap that is on it that's really good isn't him so <laughs> well yeah maybe <laughs> he got maybe a lot of really great features on it that kanye isn't a good rapper maybe i should say usually the best rapping on any of his songs is not done by him yeah 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 like monster specifically has like six other rappers on it and it is a fucking banger of a track uh especially like i can't decide between Nicki minaj uh or uh jay-z between who had the best lines on that one but uh overall it's also just like a hell of a fucking banger that uh was produced on like there's nothing bad about that i'm like 80 percent sure monster was on 808s and heartbreak it's um it was supposed to be, but it's not because 808s and Heartbreaks it, uh, doesn't really have any rapping on it, period. Yeah. It, it was just a singing and synth album. 808s is one of... Uh, is, oh. Like, I didn't listen to Dark Twisted for a while because 808s was uh-huh. the thing that I was like, yes, give me more Runaway. Oh, it's great. And all of the lights. Runaways on... All of that's on my beautiful dark twisted <laughs> fantasy. <laughs> no, it's heartless. 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 Yes, heartless is on 808s. Yeah. Yes. So I listened to my first Kanye album was my beautiful dark twisted fantasy, and then I went back and listened to his older stuff and was mm-hmm. like, oh, this is really good too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's funny with like Kanye. Every time he puts out a new album, I'm always like, I don't like it, and then it takes me like a few years, and then I'm like, oh, it's not too bad actually. I kind of like this. Mm-hmm. It takes a while to grow on me. I feel like every time. Yeah, it's like he's aiming for a point ahead of your taste. Yeah, something like that. And eventually I fall into it, but it takes me a while to get there. Well, that was the thing with all of his albums for a while there. I think all the way up into like um, the Pablo album. I uh, I forget the actual name of it, but until that album, he was always becoming a taste maker of like rap culture and whatnot. Mm -hmm. He was ahead of the game for a long time there. Uh, graduation the whole album is another album that i feel like is just like oh this is what rap is now because uh when that album came out it was him versus 50 cent and they were like oh who's going to have the big uh release because they came out Uh the exact same day but 50 cent was the old and kanye was the new even though now jay-z is doing like some really crazy cool shit if you haven't listened to 444 you should Oh, yeah. Well, that's a great album, too. Uh, thank you for joining Yeezy Talk. Uh, I'm your host, Jaris. Uh, we're going to do a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. Squarespace, build it beautiful. <laughs> Eat a Squarespace uh, on HelloFresh. Yeah. <laughs> Fill in the grumpy, eat a Squarespace. Uh, you, you should. Sorry, that was that was lame. Um, I loved it. All right, ten out of ten. I'll, I'll, I'll like go that. next. I'll go next. Um, so I feel like mine is kind of pretentious because this was like when I was a teenager, and I was like, oh, edgy, love it. So I got into Modest Mouse when I was a teenager, uh, and their first album that I bought was Good News for People Who Love Bad News. Mm-hmm. And for me, it was is that the I, float on one. It, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was like they had that big hit that was on the radio, and I was like, "Wow, I really love the song. I've never heard of this band. Let me look into it." And this is back when I had a not to brag, but a membership to Columbia House uh, CD. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, so I was just buying full albums constantly back then, um, and I just really got into that band. Uh, and for me, at first, it was less about the music and more about the lyrics. Uh, because when I was in high school, I had the time to put on an album, lay in the bed, and like read the lyrics in the like mm-hmm. little insert that came in the CD. Think about how much you hated and your life. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but I just, I don't know. I love the the lyrics to that album. I loved the message that they were uh, coming across with. It, it just, for me as a teenager, it was just so edgy. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and it talked a lot about religion. And at that point, I was starting to reject religion because I grew up in a very religious area. My family wasn't religious. And, and not that I was against uh, religion, but it felt like I was definitely getting shunned because I wasn't like I didn't go to church with people. And, you know, I w- my family was just like, whatever. Yeah. Um, and because of that, I felt like I was shunned uh, at a young age. So because of that, as a teenager, I was like, fuck religion, anarchy, blah, 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 mm-hmm. you know, whatever. Even though I don't think if I'm like, Modest Mouse is about anarchy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Like, that sounds crazy. But but uh, I feel like that really influenced my writing style too. Just um, I can see looking that. at the poetry of the songs. Would you call it and then later, and mousy? <laughs> yeah. And then later, I started to appreciate the music and how they used um, like classical instruments in their songs. Uh, like I saw Modest Mouse in concert, and they just had a shit ton of like brass things across the like mm-hmm. stage, and he just like walks from one area to another and just like picks up all these dis- different instruments and just plays them, uh, which I thought was really cool. Apparently, um, that's what like seeing Prince live was like. Really? Yeah, that's cool. That's pretty. But that's cool. It, I. I don't dislike Modest Mouse. I guess I just never mm-hmm. paid much mind to them. I kind of went mm-hmm. the other direction. Because I, s- I, like, I was raised on a lot of weird shit. So, mm-hmm. like, The Clash has been one of my favorite bands since I was a small child. Um, mm-hmm. And I, I, I always just preferred louder and angrier. Um, yeah. Oh, there's plenty of modest mouse to like them. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just <laughs> didn't hear that. You know, I just heard like the that wasn't what they put on the right, radio, right? Yeah. So maybe I should give them another chance. The 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 album that came out after that is actually my favorite modest mouse album. And if you like the Clash, you're gonna fucking love it. And I forget, it's like we were dead before the ship even sank. Yeah, that's the name of it. And um. It is one of the most hard rock really sounds like a Decemberists ever. album. It was around the same time. <laughs> it period. was around the same time. But <laughs> it was a lot harder than the Decemberists. It's way, way harder. Oh, if you'd like, I could put a list of like my favorite songs together for you, and you could just listen to them that way. You don't have to, because like some of their songs, like especially their older stuff from like the '90s, is very, in my opinion, mediocre. But they have some like really great very experimental. Yeah, they're very experimental. Mm. They're like, let's just take these pots and pans and clash them together. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, that was kind of like their shit in the '90s, but. Um, I could probably put together a list of like some songs. Do it. We could put it in the. If uh, you take that too, as an action like. item, I will take an action item uh, to listen to them, and then we'll circle the wagons next week. Okay, that sounds, sounds awesome. Good. Uh, so there you uh, go. I was just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I didn't want to uh, interrupt the uh, the modest mouse. Uh, yeah but, the the um, modest so, mouse section of the episode is over. Now we can move on to Hutch. <laughs> Hutch, what are we going to talk about for the next 10 minutes? Yes. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, coheeding nope, Cambria. I can't. Yeah, in I don't keeping secrets of Silent Earth about 3. Cambria. Uh, oh, you need to. It's so fucking good. Do you like Iron Maiden, Jairus? Yeah, sometimes. I, Usually. Okay. Uh, I, uh, Coheed <laughs> is like Iron Maiden, but with like a, a storyline that goes through the album. Yeah. So, um... Th- this album kind of like I, I I hadn't been exposed to something that does it like this one. So it's it each song kind of tells a story. It's meant to coincide with a graphic novel, <laughs> um, and I must admit that like it's I have not like, read experience. it or so I can't appreciate. 
<laughs> yeah, it, it's it, it's it's kind of crazy, but uh, did that graphic novel ever it, get made? Because I don't think it was like ever made. Like it was a soundtrack for a graphic I, design novel that never got finished. I believe that it did. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. It's been a hot minute since um, I looked it, at that shit. It it's something that you have to find. I don't think you can buy oh, it. Okay. Yeah. Um. But yeah, the, like the the tracks on it, like. They, yeah, each track, like you mentioned, tell a story of sorts, and uh, it, it doesn't kind of follow like the pro- the structure that you would expect of a normal track. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of like you know does things. Um, I don't really know how well to describe it. You kind of just have to hear it's it. Very rock it's kind of like its own rock opera. That's actually the best yeah way to describe it. Yeah. How does um, it compare to and, uh, Tommy? Um, way harder <laughs> and more cohesive <laughs> and understandable. So, so not as psychedelic. Cohesive in Cambria. <laughs> uh. Yeah. It, it, now that we're talking about it, now I just want to go back and like, because I, I kind of dropped off with them after their third album because I sucked. Mm. Or, or excuse me, their fourth album, uh, God Apollo. Uh, that was the one I uh, dropped they, off to. Yeah, but they put on. I saw them live around the God Apollo era, I believe, and they put on a really good show. So, um, uh, yeah, I love that album. Uh, I've actually listened to that whole album a few times. It's been a while though. That was like my early two thousands listening to period. I don't know. So early or early mid two thousands is what I was listening to them. So, mm-hmm. but <clears throat> they are very much like the sequel to iron maiden as far as like metal is concerned <laughs> iron maiden their... 2 still made i yep. <laughs> i listened to a few of their hit songs in high school but that was pretty much the extent of it i never listened to like when a i met album you or anything one of their songs was your ringtone yeah i know but <laughs> i like that song it was a good song i just remember so. all of the scene kids really liking that mm-hmm. and me not liking most of the music that they liked. I feel that. I still like growling. I was a scene kid, so. <laughs> I find growling not in a... music unpleasant. Yeah. Well, good news. Me too. Cody doesn't have wow. any of that. Okay. I just, I think I just always Co- assumed they did. No, yeah, it's all high. P- it's just like, uh, literally like high pitched metal voices. That's all it is. Mm. <laughs> High pitched metal voices. It's what it is. If you've ever listened, metal voices. One high pitched metal voice, please. <laughs> That's all it is. Would, would you like fries with that? Mm, good times. So I I I, I want to say one thing. I think we can all agree on one album that probably changed all of our lives, and that's the Space Jam soundtrack. Yeah, I mean that molded us. Yeah. So. So I mean, for me, 1996 would have been a terrible year without it. I agree. Yeah, probably. I have to look at Shut I, up and slam. I don't want to encourage anyone out. to buy that album, though. <laughs> <laughs> why? I have to know why. That's right. Stream it on Spotify. Well, I don't want anyone to give R. Kelly money. <laughs> well, that's fair. Don't You're, listen it's to not, it's don't listen to the R. Kelly money. parts. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't listen to the one R. Kelly Just song. Just get a or Quad City download DJ it for free. CD. Like, yes. Is he yeah, in jail yeah, yeah, yeah. Or he, Seal. Does yeah. anybody know if he's in jail yet? Oh, he's been in jail for a long time now. R. For, Kelly? Uh huh. For about like a year and a half. A long time now. Well, like, <laughs> well, the last ever since six months, done. the last half year has been 10 years. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that mm-hmm. makes sense. That checks out, actually. <laughs> If, uh, yeah, time doesn't matter anymore. But yeah, uh, fuck R. Kelly, but listen to the rest of the Space Jam album. I love that album. The uh, cover by uh, Fly Like an Eagle by Seal is great. Listen to it. It's really good. Like removed but, um, from the film. Really? Because that was like nonstop for me. Uh, I never had the album when I was younger, but I did enjoy the song from it. Yeah, I remember um, like looking at it and saying, why would I get this? When I could just watch the movie. The I, only soundtrack I had as a kid was a Lion King 2 soundtrack. <laughs> wow. <laughs> On cassette tape. <laughs> I've had so many soundtracks. I do like movie soundtracks. So. Also, that being my, said, my music had- purchasing when I was a kid was always at like, like 
music stores and it was always old shit mm. that was cheap. Like because it was yeah, cheaper yeah. than newer shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Every now and then I would blow like some money on a CD, especially like 1996, 97 was the year I got a CD player. So I just listened to my mom's music, which was all uh, the Cranberries, the Police, That's not bad. Uh, the Eagles, <laughs> Ace of Base. <laughs> oh, yeah. there we that's go. fine. I was like my mom's music and uh, when I was a kid. My mom got me to uh, CDs for Christmas that she wanted. Uh, <laughs> oh so that's where you get that from <laughs> yeah so she would she got me uh oasis uh uh the um, morning glory with wonderwall on it and um uh tragic kingdom by no doubt and i was like fuck yeah i wanted it too but she was just like hell yeah i'm gonna jam yeah. with you this is house music <laughs> <sighs> well that pretty much okay, wraps bye. Up that segment unless you Guys, have anything else you want to add to it? <laughs> no, Jairus is done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. Bye. Oh, but there, there is a band that y'all should check out. It's called okay. The Who. Uh, H U. <laughs> Who? No. Who? H U. Oh, okay. Um, oh. it is a Mongolian folk metal band. And it's yeah. kind of fucking blowing my hair back here recently. <laughs> okay. It's got like Tuvan throat down. singing and <laughs> just some crazy shit. Sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Want to see us perform live? Use that big brand of yours and follow us on Twitch. We do things live there sometimes. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> For my segment, <laughs> I'm going to just talk about what we all did for the last three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> did you do this last time? Probably. Okay. It's really I convenient when we take three week breaks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, what you been up to? It's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, what you been up to? Yeah. Uh, the most pressing thing on my mind is I got bit by a spider the other day and my forearm is like swollen. <laughs> pretty sure it's oh, going to no. just fall off. It's super itchy. I'm trying not to scratch it, but... Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> was that at home or at? I was at home, yeah. Uh, set your house on fire. So Here. I'm pretty sure. Let me send a picture to them. No, we'll do it later. <laughs> okay, well, Why? we're talking about it right now. What are you doing? All right, well. It's just distracting. Yeah. They could see it. You should we took the, the We took the trash out uh, one night, and because our trash cans are like in the woods, I don't fucking know. Like, I'm, I don't know. Something might have crawled on my arm and bit me, but I'm pretty sure it's a spider bite. It's like two little punctures. And uh, it's been, what, four days now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on it. We'll see. Got to cut into it and let the poison drain out of the blood. That's how you get the venom out. <laughs> yeah, either that or turn <laughs> off your you arm. Have you have yeah. insurance. Yes. But I don't believe it. <laughs> it's true. I've See, been paying insurance. I have it, but she has yet to go to the doctor I've or yet use to her, go insurance to the doctor or use her insurance at all. Well, that's not true. I tried to use my insurance um, for my birth control pills, and they told me that my insurance, even though I'm Blue Cross Blue Shield, doesn't cover my birth control pills. And I was like, "Cool, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that, wow. government, whatever." Uh, <laughs> cool. And so I I'm don't just need making these pills all the anyways. I've been making all the guys at work uncomfortable because I've been complaining about it. I've been like, "This fucking insurance," because we like just switched back to a different insurance provider, and I was like, "This fucking new insurance." I can't get my birth control pills. <laughs> and it's not that much. Like, I can afford it. But everyone was really concerned. They were like, oh, you can go to a clinic. Like, you can get these for free. And I was like, guys, calm down. Like, I'm just complaining. Like, it's fine. Like, but, I get them delivered to my house. For, but like, also, I'd have to go to the clinic every month. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Instead of just, like, I get these delivered to my house every three months. So it's not that bad. I was just bitching to bitch. So... Um, what else did we do? Oh, we went to the beach. Yeah, we decided to go to the beach was like a risk, but it was a risk that I really fucking needed. Nobody was there though. No, it wasn't bad. So we like tentatively were like, let's, I have like two days off. Let's go. Uh, there was absolutely nobody at the hotel. We were the only ones there. Um, there was really no one at the beach either. We were able to stay away from everyone. Although I did see a woman, she had her ferrets at the beach, oh, which I feel like is 
a weird animal to bring with you to yeah. have you ever smelled a wet a, uh, ferret it is not a good stink i have because i used to have a pet ferret when i was in middle yeah, school yeah they're turgid yeah. yeah they actually like do you have to get their scent glands removed because <laughs> they're them. kind of like yeah they're kind of like skunks in that way like they have the nasty little poop glands mm-hmm. <laughs> um oof and even if you get them descented, they still smell like not great. But these people had like th- it was like two women. They had two ferrets mm-hmm. just like in the ocean with them. <laughs> yeah, they, it, like, it, it looked like they were like almost strangling the ferrets to get them in the ocean. Yeah, I was they like, also had a dog. It's not great. <laughs> it was just kind of like yeah, they had like this little kid who kept picking up this dog who was clearly not having it and would like throw the dog in the ocean. And I was like, wow, this is some animal abuse right here. Yeah, that was but, the, that was disturbing. I'm going to stay six feet away and drink my Mike's Hard Lemonade mm, yeah. and yeah, not worry yeah. about it. <laughs> yeah, that was great. So that was pretty cool uh, that we got to leave the house for a day. We snuck away. Uh, mm-hmm. We didn't tell anybody we went to the beach because we're not supposed to be. We're not supposed to leave. But we city. did it anyways. Anybody at work who's watching. We committed, some crimes. <laughs> we committed some crimes. We committed some crimes. It's already we, been two weeks. I threw a birthday party for a coworker. That was fun. We grilled out. We got mm-hmm. really high. We drank a bunch of booze. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been cleaning the house still. Yeah. I painted the bathroom. Oh, I did this really cool parkour move in the bathroom when I was painting um, where I jumped from the stepladder to the top of the toilet lid. And the toilet lid like broke and slid out from underneath me. And I fell into the side of the counter and got this really gnarly bruise on my ass. Nice. <laughs> That was pretty Good cool. Work. <laughs> because wow. uh, she ended up breaking the toilet seat, I took advantage of that opportunity to buy a bidet. Good. Yeah. What, we have a, uh, which we one have did a really you get? fancy. Uh, I, I, a really fucking expensive one with all the features. Did you get the Omega? <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, I think I, I did. Also it's have either that. that. Did you get the top of the line one? Yeah, Can basically. we talk about how great the heated toilet seat is? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The heated toilet seat, <laughs> the feminine wash, mm-hmm. the bidet wash, uh, the air dryer. Um, <laughs> it dries your butthole. Yeah. yeah. It's I've amazing. Had the cleanest butthole. Yeah. I. It feels it's good. Super nice. I haven't even pooped it's in so the other nice. toilet since I like I installed it. Well, I did once. Yeah. Yeah. But. Yeah. Um, then you felt like a savage. I felt you were like, like a monster. Yeah. Yeah. So that was the thing. Brittany thought I was in the uh, bathroom doing something on the toilet. I was just sitting down. Yeah. Uh, she was just like, <laughs> I, I was cold, so I just sat on the toilet because it's heated. <laughs> <laughs> it was. That's what happened. And Brittany was just like, Ugh, I had to take a shit like a nor- like with a... <laughs> With toilet paper, it sucked. <laughs> and I was just like, like super well, mad. So, and then I was just like, just go clean up with a bidet. Like, she went after I got up, she was Ugh, like, okay. Gross. And she, <laughs> and she used the bidet. Yeah, just that. swap butt across the apartment. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I had already wiped and like had my pants on and everything, but then I was like, oh, I'm going to like clean this. So, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, just make sure it's clean, you know? <laughs> But, um, yeah, that's been, like, one of my new favorite things. I was going to spend, like, just $70 on it. Um, but then you like realized those, you like, could get heated and hot water. I just wanted all the features. Yeah. yeah. I wanted all the features, and I wanted it to be real simple, so it was. And yeah. um, Super the easy one I got was, like, a $350 one. Um, a buddy of mine works for their inbound marketing group, um, and mm-hmm. I really fucking wish they had an affiliate code. Mm-hmm. It's like this would be the perfect time to say you can go here and get ten percent off. <laughs> yep, yep. But they don't but you could because they're go awful. here and pay full price. Go but here and pay full price. Level. But also, they might hey. hit you with three pop ups that give you coupons that are mutually exclusive uh, mm-hmm. as you're going through the process. So just just go to Amigo get Amigo. We're just going to advertise them anyways. Mm. <laughs> MyAmigo.com. Free this shipping is, on all orders. This is <laughs> not a luxury of day toilet seat. It's 10% this is off. not sponsored actually. content. So, Heatwave can't be bought. That's true. 90 days. Like <laughs> free shipping and easy returns. I don't know why what they would do with a return bidet. I would say trash it. but Just melt it know, down I for hope. more plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Re- reclaimed plastic i don't uh, yeah like you know what recycling buy it today yeah. stop being a shitty ass 
but yeah, we nobody, brought the day. And, I'm glad uh, that I didn't have to say nobody laugh at that because there, there's no one nothing did. there. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Jerry. Yeah, changes, Anyways. changes your fucking life. Hutch, you should get one. Yeah, Hutch, get one. I, I've been meaning to. Um, I've been meaning to. So, uh, based on our advice, a friend of Steph's got one, but she got a cheaper one um, mm-hmm. that's just called Tushy. So, without <laughs> thinking about what words mean, I just typed in tushy.com to check out their website, <laughs> and it was not for the day. <laughs> That's perfect. Ooh. That's perfect. It's like when you're a kid and you go to sex.com. Mm-hmm. I did that. I did that too. <laughs> I did that three. I did that back in 1995. I don't know what sex.com goes to now, but like it, when I went There's to it, There's a really it was easy slow. way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't want viruses. <laughs> I'll do it on my phone. Why would you, you probably do, do that it a, a on your machine? phone? That's worse than doing it on a computer. Like you can easily wipe your computer. Uh, well, I got an ad for something to fix my small penis, and one week later, holy shit, Whoa. this penis is just <laughs> wow. This I, I wow, this penis grew like a foot. What, what did it redirect Anyways. to? Uh, Sex.com. Mm. It goes to sex.com. I wonder how much Wait, it looks like a tumbler for like sex or something. I don't yeah, know. It looks just, r- I am like trying really very... hard to not loudly <clears throat> type because I want to do research <laughs> and see what the like theoretical value of sex.com is. Okay, yeah, free hardcore sex videos. For all it, of them. it looks like, really bad to for them to have claimed that domain, I guess, long ago. They haven't done much with it. Yeah, yeah. it looks not great. Well, so. they're probably just trying to sell it. Yeah, but they're probably, probably. asking mm-hmm. way too much money, or it just generates enough like standard revenue that it doesn't fucking matter. Mm-hmm. That's mm. probably it. Like it's the most basic fucking word, so makes sense. The most mm-hmm. basic fucking word. <laughs> I mean, it is the most basic word about fucking. <laughs> like, so yes. Pizza dot com recently went for some grotesque amount of money. I think. Wow. It's pretty good. I hope like a mom pa got it. I know it didn't, but oh, that'd no, be amazing. There's another one. <laughs> I can't remember which one. I like that uh, videogames.com goes straight to Giant mm-hmm. Bomb. Oh, yeah. They bought that? And, That's cool. Yeah. And then um, Giant Bomb's webpage right now uh, advertises a podcast. The image is uh, a picture of a Halo Spartan. Uh, holding a bottle of Mountain Dew. Of course. Mm-hmm. Like, that's about as video games as Listen, it gets, if we so. keep reading yeah. websites, we're going to get sued by <laughs> Lou Reads the Internet. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Well, Brittany, what else have you been up to then? What did um, you do after you slipped off that toilet? I did some acid. <laughs> 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 For the first time. Yep. It was uh, spontaneous. I was told, like, before, like, okay, we had planned to do it at some point in time, but we were like, well, I had never done it before. Yeah. The person who was giving it to me was like, we'll do it in the morning because you're going to be up. Well, no, they didn't tell me you were going to be up. They were just like, it's going to last forever. So we'll do it in the morning. And then after work, we all went to get some beers at this brewery (laughs) on the corner so we can sit outside in the rain. And then we were like, hey, let's do acid tonight. Just dad (laughs) shit. (laughs) <laughs> yeah just hanging out with my dad friends and we went to one of their houses and one of them was sober he was supposed to be watching us but he immediately fell asleep mm-hmm. in his lazy boy chair <laughs> yep and uh me and my other friend we like stayed up for 15 hours and watched anime <laughs> i mean um, it sounds awesome and it was really good it was it was a micro dose so i didn't see like a dragon or anything mm-hmm. but I did see all the freckles on my arm move around all like sloshy and that was really cool. And but what I don't know, I just had like a really a like I didn't know what to expect, but the next day I just felt really good. Like I was super tired, but I just felt like warm and fuzzy inside. I was like, mm-hmm. "Hell yeah, this is great." I remember that you came home and we just basically cuddled and slept the whole day. The only thing that sucked is that I got super hot, so I took all my clothes off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just wearing like my t-shirt and underwear and uh, I texted Michelle in the morning. I was like, can you come get me? 
And uh, I go outside, and I did not even bother putting my clothes back on. I just carried my pants and my shoes, and I was like, okay, (laughs) let's get in the car and go. And then we got home, and we were, like, struggling with the keys to get the door open, and my neighbor, like, walked by, (laughs) and I'm standing there, like, holding my shoes and my pants, like, what's up? (laughs) Did a cop later knock on the door to do a wellness check on you? (laughs) No. That was fun. But the my other crime I committed this year is that when we did the acid like in the car mm. on the way to uh, our friend's house and we passed by a bunch of cops. There were like a shit ton of cops out that night. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We were like, yeah, let's do acid in the car while all these cops are pulling people over. You're perfect. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah Brittany messaged it, me and so was like, I'm doing acid. <laughs> I'm but- doing acid. I won't be home tonight. <laughs> See you later. I was like, cool. <laughs> 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 stay hydrated i guess yeah. i did i did that was a good thing is like my friend who had done it before was like basically like walked me through everything it was like oh, are you feeling this way is your spine tingling are your eyes burning like are you starting to see this and then i'm like yeah and he's like okay well that's just this happening to your brain like he was very like we're gonna break it down to like exactly mm. the scientific of like what's happening and then i was like man i'm like fucking hot i'm like sweating he's like just keep drinking water he's and he kept yelling at me to drink water <laughs> that's so. good so i had like good people watching out for me so it wasn't a bad trip it was really good yeah. um but yeah, it was awesome. I want to do it again. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that <laughs> I, you had a good trip. Uh, when you yeah. described the situation, I was like, mm, "That might not be." And then you were like, "No, it was great." I was like, "All right, cool." <laughs> yeah, I was honestly, I was kind of jealous, but I'm gonna go ahead and give us some more time. Uh, I really, really, really in, was like, "Hmm, I've been wanting to jump on that too." But uh, our friend where that. Uh, told us where to get it from and it's like relatively cheap so yeah. Yeah. i could see like how it could be bad if you are in like a weird environment right. with like weird people mm-hmm. but the people i was with i'm very comfortable with their yeah. co-workers that's the only reason why i'm able to hang out with them outside of work like they've become my like best friends because i can't see any of my other friends yeah. yep. um and i've already been to their house several times so it wasn't like i was in i wasn't a in place. a new place you know i'd been in that place before so yeah and it was just very chill, and there was, like, no expectations to do anything. Like, we were like, we're going to lay on the couch and just watch TV, and that's it. So, and that's what we did. Yeah. The only thing that sucked is that beforehand, I was like, should we eat beforehand? And the one friend who was hosting was like, he was the sober one. He was like, yeah, we can eat. And then he fell asleep for three hours. <laughs> and then he woke up with a start and was like, oh, fuck, you guys are hungry, huh? And he's like, I'll make you some tater tots. <laughs> so he dropped like way too many tater tots into the air fryer and they came out in like this big, massive mush. Oh, no. And we were just laughing at the amount that he had made and how mushy they were. And <laughs> we were eating them laughing. He's like, just put it in your mouth and eat it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's good no it's yeah, yeah um like apparently the key with that or or with acid is like the the atmosphere and intent like the being mm-hmm. in a good headspace coming into it aware um and then being in a place where you feel safe with people that you feel safe with and that's yeah like that's that's the way to ensure a pleasant experience or Maybe not like depending on if you're using it to do self searching or self or to mm-hmm. to look deeper into yourself um a less nightmare fueled experience mm. yeah, yeah, Brittany came home to tell me there's a couple of moments where you were not so much like uh i about to have a, like a panic attack or not but you were saying like there was moments where you felt like you could have yeah it was like on the verge of like i might could have a panic attack and i just had to be like no it's cool like all these people around you are chill and like everybody loves you right now like don't worry about it and it went away yeah and there was another time i get motion sickness really easily and the fact that like everything is moving constantly uh there was at one point i did get a little motion sickness and felt nauseated but i just closed my eyes for a second mm-hmm. um and I saw all these like little white lights like going across my eyelids. So that was pretty cool. And then I felt better afterwards. So it was mm-hmm. just those two times where I was like, oh, I don't know. But they didn't last very long. Mm-hmm. And I kind of like worked through it. But I could, I would say like, I don't know. I don't want to encourage anybody to do 
anything that they're not comfortable with. But if you are going to do it, definitely make sure that you yeah. are know the dosage, that you're in a safe place, that you're comfortable. And uh, I would say don't really have any expectations because like you could expect a certain yeah. thing and it doesn't go that way and it could make you have a bad trip. Mm-hmm. So I was just open to be like, okay, I don't know what's going to happen, yeah. but we'll just see what happens. So that's the only advice that I have really. So Yeah, I want to jump on this train sometime. Yeah. But yeah, it was cool. And so yeah, that's what I've done for the past three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I haven't really done that much, but then when I list it all out, I'm like, oh yeah, I have done quite a bit actually. So. <laughs> a very productive month. Almost month. <laughs> yeah. Um, and now you know why we didn't do anything for uh, any episodes for three weeks. <laughs> I got, a, I gave myself a COVID cut and I've been grilling mm. a lot and that's about it. A COVID cut? I cut my hair. Oh, oh. I My brain went to a <laughs> weird place. I thought you I, got cut and I was then like, it got infected with COVID. COVID in it? <laughs> Is it like tobacco? <laughs> yeah, it's like tobacco. You put COVID in the cut and it gets very swollen and smells real weird. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, that's good. Um, congrats, I guess. all right well bye okay bye (laughs) you got the social medias we got the social medias you got the facebook's we got the facebook's you got the twitters we got the tweeters we got the uh, instagrams we don't really use that one too much but you know we're on there too if there's something else we probably got it you can find them all in the description at the bottom hey guys We've got Xbox News. Xbox News. I'm really enjoying this weather report news anchor shit that he's doing this episode. That's a helicopter. Special report. The newswire. Hot off last week's presses. Yeah. Have Have any you guys? Did you guys watch the? I watched it. Presentation. I uh I well I watched it, but I also uh was kind of like I didn't care. It was the only one where I was just like, eh, whatever. I'll catch it when I catch it. I saw a bit of it, but you can give us a refresher, Hutch. I will. Um, what one thing that I would like to mention is so Xbox had like so many different language streams for this was kind of nuts trying to find the one i actually wanted Mm -hmm. i found one that said english uh, but it was actually english with uh audio descriptions so it showed everything and then it had a a a dude that was describing what was happening on the screen (laughs) oh okay it was kind of wild. That is amazing and (laughs) awesome i (laughs) i'm gonna try and and link it because it's I, I didn't know that that was a thing that people did uh, for accessibility, uh, but it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I thought that was cool. Um, but yeah, so uh, they showed Halo Infinite. Um, it looks like Halo. Halo is Halo. Uh, running at high frame rate at 4K. <laughs> Yeah, that was the big thing that came uh, came out of it was that I saw a lot of people complaining about the graphics for the new Halo game. People complain yeah, about... Yeah, they went a lot more s- simple with that, with a, a lot more simple palette. Um, I mean, they, they, they've kind of been um, alluding to this as like a soft reboot, mm-hmm. and so I guess the visual style is meant to kind of... Um, all- or the design, I guess, is supposed to allude back to that, I yeah. guess. I feel like people always complain uh, about graphics, though. It's not the graphics. Just, you know. Yeah. Well, uh, the Xbox uh, Series X is supposed to be the um, supposed to be the more powerful the newest, of the consoles. Most innovative. So, yeah, piece some other bullshit we have seen in our years to come. <laughs> exactly. So people are like expecting a lot out of Xbox because of that. <laughs> yeah. Well, th- this is a one of those titles that's designed for both one, the One and mm-hmm. the Series X and PC. So it's like. It, it's it's it can't push it as much as you would probably want it to mm. i mean like but uh uh it, yeah they gave master chief a grappling hook so that i'm excited about honestly the gameplay looked the, amazing yeah it looks really fun i i don't know why everyone's bitching about um about, about it but i mean it doesn't change the game it like it's more halo it, it's an open world halo actually oh um, i didn't know that so i'm actually i'm actually I'm really down it. if it's an open world halo <clears throat> yeah hmm. yeah it is yeah oh shit i'm really um, excited now <laughs> <laughs> um but 
uh, yeah. Oh, and they just recently announced that uh, on the Series X, it'll go up to 120 frames. Mm -hmm. And the multiplayer is free to play. Yeah, it's something that I really caught with um, like Halo is with the whole show is that if you have Game Pass, uh, it's going to be free on day one. And like all of the uh, all of the uh, little, it's their things basically going to be there like um, their service as a game kind of game is what they're trying to make Halo Infinite into, mm -hmm. which makes sense. I mean. You know, almost every platform has one of those. Like, it's their specific, like, service as a game game. Um, Animal Crossing for Nintendo, for example. So, I, uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm I not surprised to see that, to be honest. As long as it's good, I don't care. Yeah. As long as it's not good and exploitive, I'm happy. Right. Right. I, I They'll probably do the whole thing that everyone else has been doing. Sell cosmetics yep. and, and shit. Um, and Call of Duty does that now, too. So, yeah. Makes sense. <clears throat> um, let's see. They, they they showed a lot more. I mean, uh, uh, I should say that was the only gameplay that they showed, mm -hmm. um, uh, which was unfortunate. But uh, I guess they, they just showed a lot more things that are kind of a little farther out. Um, they showed a few more like narrative driven games. Mm -hmm. um, one was as Dusk Falls, um, and they kind of showed that as kind of like a stop motion sort of style. And at least in the trailer, I guess I maybe that's not indicative of how gameplay will be, but uh, it looked cool. Oh no, it sounds interesting. Yeah, um, the the Life is Strange team uh, is doing um, another one. Uh, I'm trying to find the uh, tell me why. Um, tell me why. I, Sorry. <laughs> hey. uh. <laughs> I'll stop there. Uh, so I, I just recently finished Life is Strange 2, and I was looking at this trailer, and I was like, a lot of these locales look very familiar. Um, yeah, is it supposed to be in the same so timeline, some, or is it different? It's supposed to be a, a completely different game okay. series. I mean, it could also be that they're reusing assets, mm -hmm. but like some of them look very much the mm -hmm. same that they were teasing, so I, I don't know. I could just be like looking way too much into it one of my favorite uh, games from the xbox thing was actually a story game too but um we've known about it for a long time it's not an announcement but they showed uh a bit more of uh psychonauts 2 which was mm. really cool and i got really excited for that um i we're gonna get we're gonna get a, a new black uh, jack black track yep yeah, which I I mean, I'm down for that. Uh, I I want double I'm when they bought Double Fine, I was a little worried about it because like I I, I want them to be unique and whole and whatnot, but I'm I'm still very very excited to see what they end up doing. Especially mm. post Psychonauts 2 cuz this Psychonauts 2 was like announced before they got <clears throat> bought, so all that game's still going to every platform, but after that, it's going to be exclusively to Xbox. So Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, how do you feel about more Outer Worlds? Very, actually, I'm very excited about all of the Outer Worlds uh, announcements that they had. So, and it looks like they're going to um, have a lot of fun with it. Uh, the people at Obsidian did a really great job uh, with like all of the DLC for um, Fallout New Vegas, and they just had fun. They made a weird fucking story, and I expect them to do the same with uh, with Outer Worlds DLC. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited about that. I'm, also, Outer Worlds was my favorite game last year. Um, I think Jairus and I had pretty similar opinions on that. Yeah, it was and, a great game. Uh, so yeah, uh, more more of that game sounds great. That was the first time in a long, long time where I was just like, uh, I was like, oh, credits. This game's already over. <laughs> I uh, yeah, I remember you kind of see upset Michelle that still the game likes ended. games. <laughs> <laughs> just not the last two I played. <laughs> oh, but um, no, it's uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm very excited for that. I can I could. I, it's really rare for me to be like, oh, I, give me as much of this game as I can get because I'm very happy with like 10, 15 hour long games. But I spent like 25 hours in Outer Worlds and I was still like, I thought I was halfway done and credits showed up. And I was like, oh, 
<clears throat> but that was also like I'm used to Fallout games, so my expectations were like based on that. Gotcha. Yeah. Speaking of rare, <laughs> uh, they showed off a new game called Everwild. Looks it looks really great. Uh, I think it's a four player. It's a four style. Yeah, it looks like a four player Mystic Witch game. I don't. I don't know. It was it was a CG. At, uh, all of them were CG like trailers and whatnot. So I don't really know what it plays like. But story demographically, there's like four different witches that are like they seem like elementals for they the world. They stole Skipper's mm. game idea. I know. I was about to say they like stole. They Skipper's did. Game. Holy shit! I didn't even think about mm. Mahu Warriors. You've got to yeah. <laughs> defend your friend's intellectual property. All right. Well, let me get Skipper Brandon on that. Sue them. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so defend the IP. <laughs> uh, this is not a hundred percent related to the Xbox show, but Rare finally put out a gameplay trailer of the new Battle Toads, which is coming out in like three weeks now. Battle Toads, um, and it looks amazing. And if you got Game Pass, like all these other games for Xbox, they're like if you got Game Pass, it's available for free on the first day when it comes out. So I don't. I don't think Rare is doing that new Battletoads game. It's supposedly by Rare, but uh, I'm sure there's like another like uh, developer that's actually doing it. It it mm. looks like a Newgrounds game. It looks like uh, it was the same people that made Castle Crashers to me. But I know it's not them, yeah. but that's what it looks like. Oh, okay. Rare is announcing. Okay. I, I guess, um, yeah, one site said one thing, another one said another thing. Okay. Neat. Yeah, I'm, ex I'm excited to play that. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, let's see. What else was there? Uh, more Tetris Effect. Everyone gets Tetris Effect. Oh, that uh, one was fun Tetris. because our, we had our co-workers were in that video. Yeah, that so, was cool. And I Tetris Effect oh. was uh, the closest thing a video game has ever gotten to a religious experience for me. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds really fucking dumb, it but it's true. The shapes. I love you so much. That's ridiculous. The colors. But also I, I love that game. It's so amazing. I want to get high and play that game because I wasn't getting high when I played it. But um, but yeah, I um, I am very excited about the game. It was really cool to see a couple of our coworkers in the trailer for it, and it's basically Tetris Effect, but now it's multiplayer. So I'm very excited. Nice. It looks great. I will play it again because I don't have to pay money for it. <laughs> yeah, Game Pass. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's this game called The Medium that looks really rad where it's kind of it, it, it simultaneously renders two versions of the exact same world. One's kind of like a Silent Hill style, like a post apocalyptic oh, yeah. world. And the other is kind of like a present day. Uh, and I guess it, w whichever one you go with, like, depends on what enemies you get, and it changes the look of the character as well. That's gonna that, spook me rad. out. I, um, That's it, too it looks like a spooky game. Too spooky. Yes, it's a. It kind of dark. Mystery. It kind of reminded me of Legacy of Cain, where there's like a living world and a dead world, and if you die, you go to the dead world, but you don't technically die. You can always like earn health and come back to the living world. It kind of reminded me mm -hmm. of that. Don't talk to yeah. me until they re-release Gabriel Knight. <laughs> My favorite point-and-click adventure. It's the only game I care about. Well, good luck with that one. Wow. <laughs> we're, we're, we're more likely to put out Gabriel Knight than anyone else oh, is. I'm going to bother our bosses then. You should. Like, what up? You should. Gabriel Knight. The same people that made System Shock with us, they actually have the rights to it. Night Dive? Mm-hmm. So, hmm. 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 <laughs> so it's possible. Um, I, a few more things I wanted to mention: Balan, Balan Wonderworld. <laughs> okay, they should just call that Wonderland because it goes so much better. I feel like uh, it's another. It's a platformer. Yeah. Um, it's new. It looks. Oh, it's a. It's a Squeenix platformer. Um, Squeenix. Squeenix. Looks cool. Squeenix. Squeenix. <laughs> Squeenix. The hell's that? Oh. <laughs> uh, Dragon Quest is coming to Xbox. I found out about that when I booted up Game Pass. Uh, that was. <laughs> that's one way. That was a surprise. 
Yeah. Well, yeah. So it was, uh, um, those two were announced on a on the pre show, mm-hmm. which is uh, Jeff Keighley's like um, summer of E three thing he does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, new Fable. I never played any of the other Fables. That was that so. was a big announcement. It was the uh, it was the secret that everybody knew about. Um, and like it, everyone knew it was coming, but it was still really cool. They're rebooting Fable. Um, the gritty uh, reboot that's great of for... Fable. <laughs> yeah, is Peter Molyneux still so involved? There's... Nope, not at all. <laughs> no, no. Uh, no, they did four Fables. He's, with he's him. still trying to pay pay out his cash prize for um, the person who who uh, beat the box. Yeah, or yeah, that, that stupid box thing, game, weird Google mobile Google game. Peter Mullen is batshit crazy. <laughs> Hot take. He is. So, yeah, and Microsoft didn't want him to have, like, some weird fucking weird money prize that would be a, a hole in their investment. So they got rid of him and took the Fable franchise. Hmm. And uh, it, honestly, it looks really good. It was really cute. As soon as I saw it, it was it was a, just a CG trailer, and it's just um, just this fairy, that really high-detailed, really good-looking fairy uh like uh it's graphically going through the forest or whatnot and she's just like super cute and then all of a sudden she's on a flower she's pollinating the flower or something or whatever whoa that sounds sexy and then all of a sudden like a frog eats her and it's hilarious oh so so you're telling me you're into war i guess so (laughs) (laughs) all right we're learning about each other it's all a journey yep (laughs) but yeah i i enjoy i enjoyed the show yep um well, since we're at the end, let's let's go ahead and finish off with the the be- the biggest announcement: Fantasy Star Online Two New Genesis. I'm so excited for that. Uh, my boss actually messaged me. He text messaged me, and he was just like, "Oh, you gotta have to jump in back in the game now." And I was like, "Okay, I guess I I guess I have to." <laughs> so uh, so he was just like, I, he was like, "I miss having a cowgirl in my group because in Fantasy Star Online Two, I am a giant Amazonian cowgirl." So beautiful. I have to jump back in a game. Yeah. And it looks good. I, it's um, like a I, next gen version of it because that uh the original game is like from 2012. Even though we just got yeah, it. Th- it I, I've been trying to figure out exactly what this thing is because it's supposed to exist side by side. It's supposedly with regular fantasy star. It's they're calling it an expansion, but it's basically a brand new game. Yeah. And like, well, that's what pay items tr- uh, translate. And like, uh, ba- any th- any kind of like cosmetics you've earned can like will go over as well. But besides that, it's it's a whole brand new other experience. So, mm-hmm. which I'm excited for. It looks great. It looks like uh, it looks like uh, Devil May Cry mixed in with an MMO. So I'm down. Maybe I'll I'll uh, actually get into it. Um... Knowing me, probably not. <laughs> but I would, I would wow. Like to. <laughs> now for the biggest announcement. I'm probably not going to play it. <laughs> That's the best. I want to pretend like I might, I've ever heard. But I might not. <laughs> I love you, Hutch. I love you so much. Oh, thank you. And I love you. Aww. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Do you want to watch Heat Wave before anyone else? Well, there's an easy way to do that. Just back us up on Patreon at patreon.com slash half empty tank and be the first to watch the episodes. Welcome back to Heat Wave. Uh, it's been about six months since I started transitioning. Oh, and... I thought you were going to say since our last episode. <laughs> <laughs> and what have you guys been doing in over that six months? I, was, I haven't seen I you guys a long time. <laughs> That in between segments, like a year had passed. <laughs> I mean, we did have that. I mean, Brittany was talking about work for a Time while. Time is there, a so. flat Sorry. circle. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I just uh, I figured. Yeah, like, let's talk things about have been changing. Transitions. It's weird. Also, uh, you guys obviously have seen me on the show before I was transitioning, when I started, now, and it may not appear very different on the video, but there has been lots of changes. Um, A lot of changes that um, are really great, but it's just a lot of unforeseen changes, too. 
a lot of emotional changes. And I just wanted to be like, hey, if you're transitioning <laughs> or whatnot, this is uh, might be an expectation. Um, and just like, obviously, when, when I came out on the episode, I told Brittany, I was like, I want boobs. Well, guess what? I got them. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. They're great. I like them. <laughs> Can't, highly rated. They're pretty great. Um, one of the weird things that uh, I was not expecting is, is when, before I uh, transitioned, I didn't really experience uh, dysphoria because I wasn't really expecting to transition. So I just was like, yep, there's my stupid male body. I don't really pay attention to it, mm -hmm. whatever. But after I started uh, transitioning, I was like, oh, now I can do have a female body. Oh, that's definitely not that. <laughs> like, I would look in the mirror and be like, that's wrong. But uh, waking up in the morning and grabbing my boobs is really nice. And that helps that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you mentioned, too, that, like, your hands were a big factor for you. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. And to overcome that. Uh, you got your nails did. Yeah. So for a while there, I was just painting my nails and learning how to paint my nails because that was another process of learning. But Brittany and I about, what was it, like two weeks ago? It was the beginning of July. Um, we went and um, got our nails done and we got pedicures did. and did, done, did. And uh, that's been really nice. Like, because my, the, you know, the part of my body I see the most is my hands. So if they look feminine, I feel very good. So that's been uh, a part of dysphoria that I was not expecting. Mm -hmm. But um, could you, I, Michelle, honestly, could you say more about not experiencing dysphoria and uh, then as the transition began to feel like the, the, the that <clears throat> are you? I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I'm I'm trying to understand. Please. Are you Sometimes saying Sometimes I'm really bad about words. No, it's okay. <laughs> Are you saying that um so it like despite knowing what you wanted, you were mm -hmm. just thinking It was one of those I'm oh, sorry. It was just one of those things where like um I hadn't committed to it yet. I hadn't, mm -hmm. I knew there was no reason to expect any changes because what's changed? Nothing. I'm not taking anything yet. I wasn't, there was no HRT, but literally the week where I started uh, hormone replacement therapy, mm. there were, there were slight changes, just slight changes. Like, and then it wasn't fast enough for oh, you. Okay. So then you yeah, felt yeah. like, and then you felt like, Oh fuck. Like this is, bad. I got to deal yeah. with this. Like my skin <laughs> this is got happening, soft almost but not quick enough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I really wanted a pill that just like overnight changed me into a girl. That'd be nice. Yeah, but obviously that's not how it is. But uh, within like a few days, what was really nice is that my skin did immediately get softer. Like it was a weird like night and day experience. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at uh -huh. just the concept of like bump up your estrogen slightly and yeah. all of a sudden your skin is not gravel yeah our no, bodies it, that are was ridiculous <laughs> yeah but that's not something that that's something too that like i didn't even realize like our our like men's skin is men's skin not as soft as women's skin mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. I, I never really paid attention to it i mean my skin was already softer to begin with because i did like use lotion more often and i paid like more care to it than most men do mm -hmm. but like i um and I had like office hands. I didn't have like men's working <laughs> <Office>. hands. <laughs> That's true. Like I had really dainty hands for a man. But um, so afterwards it was like really easy. But um, compared to most men. But uh, yeah, just instantly I could feel a difference on like my body skin. Mm -hmm. And um, and that was fun. That was like the first couple of weeks, mm. and it's all it's been that way ever since, which has been really nice. Um, the su the more subtle changes, the stuff I didn't expect. I don't know if I talked about this in the um, last trans video I talked about when I when I came out, but um, so I've always had anger issues my whole life, and it feels like those have like that's gone down considerably, like to the point to where I don't think about it most of the time now. Mm -hmm. Um, that's been really fantastic, honestly. Um, I, um, and like, uh, 
many of you know that know me really well that I used to have like really bad outbursts every now and then I'd be real shitty. And I don't want to blame that on a chemical in my body. I just, but part of it was that I don't really feel that way anymore. Do you, do you think that's you living a more genuine self? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure if it's, if it's the actually, uh, if it's just the psychological, like, Oh, I'm, I feel better because I'm happier being myself now. Or if it's just the lack of testosterone, I don't know, frankly, I don't care. It, <laughs> I feel better and I'm happy about that, but it is um, like, it, I'm not sure. Hmm. Um, no, it's, it's, it's interesting. Was, it's one of those things that I, I hadn't thought about. Um, yeah. You know, and like the, in a movie, the screenwriter would probably allude to she's living her best life now and doesn't mm-hmm. need to hide behind anger. But yeah. 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 I can't tell which is which. There, yeah. there was another thing though, um, and I, t- I talked to Brittany about this a lot when it first, when I first realized it, is that uh, about a week in, week or two in on HRT, I realized that I had been carrying a lot of anxiety because it was gone, um, and I didn't realize I had that anxiety beforehand. The only reason why I knew I had it is because I didn't have it anymore. Um, and it was a, it was a really, it felt like a weight off my shoulders, but I didn't know that weight was there. It's like, you just got so used to the feeling that, that you, is that you, I was not my first acid experience felt like <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Nice. Speaking of acid. Now I really want to try it. I think, I think you should. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's just record an episode. I, I, on I think no, 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 no. That would be terrible. That would put me in a good place for that. Oh yeah, I know. I'm just making um, a joke. No, but I, yeah, I think we should. Um, Hutch, okay. you too. I know it sounds scary, and I don't. I don't want, know like, if I... if that is a thing that you are interested in. I would like to yeah. provide a safe world for that. Mm. I don't know if I would be down with it just because like my anxiety already sucks mm. and, I, and from what I hear like I, th- I feel like it would kick it, it into overdrive it, it could it could it could also allow you to take a step back from your anxiety see it acknowledge it and realize that you don't have to feed into it which is essentially what happened with me um mm-hmm. hmm. And I mean, it's, and anxiety, it doesn't anxiety like, sucks. It doesn't cure it. <laughs> it's just like provides you with another tool in your tool chest to to work mm-hmm. with it. Gotcha. Um, and yeah, that was the weirdest thing because um, it has come back, but not like in a not the way it had previously. Like now that I know what that feeling feels like yeah. and understand what that feeling is. Um, it's very much like a, oh, oh, okay. I must be feeling this way for some reason. What's causing that? Let me, let me fix that issue. And usually it's just like work related at this point. Like it's like, oh, I need to get something done. But, um, it's, uh, it's not the same as just like, I feel like the anxiety I had beforehand was just like coming out to Brittany Mm -hmm. and like, just coming out in general, like there was like a couple of month buildup for it for yeah. me. And, um, once it was gone, it, it was the one of the most relieving things. I don't think I've ever felt my shoulder blades before. Like, it was just like, Oh, Oh, that's what that feels like being loose and free back there. Yeah. You know, um, there's been some setbacks. Um, as far as like transitioning as well though like while hrt has been really easy you just take the pills when you're supposed to take it uh and while like learning makeup and learning all these other aspects of transitioning has been something i've enjoyed um the main thing that i'm still struggling with is uh my voice which um to be grant to be fair i have not done a really great job of practicing my voice very well Mm mm-hmm but I've also just, it's really hard. I'm partly deaf and I'm kind of tone deaf and I can't, even if I, unless I have to use a tool, 
like my phone or whatnot to see if I'm at the right pitch. And people talk about resonance and tone. And I just don't, I don't know what those words mean because I don't experience them really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that, that's been difficult. Um, but, um, there's some, there's some surgery options for that. And there's some like educational options and some other people have been talking to me, um, about that. Um, I started doing laser hair removal, Hmm. which has been mostly great, but, um, my beard is very, very stubborn. And, uh, I feel like once I get past the beard being completely removed, um, I honestly, like, I think that's been like the thing I complain about the most. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Is like, I hate shaving and then like looking in a mirror and seeing, uh, you know, everything else looking feminine, but you still have a beard is not very, a great look. That's like where most of my dysphoria probably comes from. Mm-hmm. So, um, that's kind of the most annoying thing right now is that there's no really fast way to get rid of that. And every way there is to get rid of it is both expensive and time consuming. So... I feel like you've done better about going out, too. You have less anxiety about going out in public. Um, that's been a lot of help thanks to you, honestly. I don't, um, like, I know a lot of, I've been joining a lot of trans communities, and I see a lot of single girls and younger girls who are coming out as trans and dealing with these issues. Mm-hmm. And I understand what you're going through, but I'm extremely lucky that I've had you be with me most of those times whenever I am out in the public. Mm-hmm. I'm also extremely lucky that, Everyone has to wear a face mask. Yeah, so that so. helps. Like, <laughs> if you don't feel like shaving one day, it's yeah. like no big deal. Yeah, yeah. Just so stay masked up. Yeah, there's <laughs> uh, being outside. Now, granted, it's the middle of summer right now. It fucking sucks to be outside wearing a mask. Not to say that go wear a mask. I'm not arguing against it, but it does suck. And but bring I'm much <laughs> pro tip: bring two masks so that when you sweat yeah, through yeah. one, you can change to one that isn't sweat filled. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, uh, I keep one in my car. I keep one in my purse, and I uh, we you know interchange them and try and wash them all the time. Yeah, because yeah, mask man. But um, I think the number one thing that's been really hard is that um, I have had mostly just Brittany to talk to about this stuff. Um, and I, of course I could hit you guys up and I have, uh, at times like hit you guys up like over the phone or whatever, but it's not the same as like seeing your friend and just being like, let me complain for a half hour. Can you just listen to me complain for a minute? Mm-hmm. And I'm sure Brittany gets <clears throat> tired of that shit. <laughs> so I'm just like, anytime I find a new human being, I'm just like, hi, I need to talk about this. And I'm, absolutely certain i'm like annoying the hell out of them all the time so that's the only real complaint i would have for it it's just like man covid is not helping yeah (laughs) yeah but yeah overall um things are progressing uh i went from a flat chest to b-sized boobs my butt's getting bigger i got soft skin and uh honestly i'm I'm finally starting to relate to my name, Michelle. Um, that was one of the hardest things to go through ever was renaming myself. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't I don't wish that on anybody. Like, I've never had a problem with my old name, but it just wasn't a feminine name. Yeah. And I just didn't want to be that weird girl named Brian. I thought that would be <laughs> weird. <laughs> so, and um, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of like... A summary of what's gone on for the last six months. I, uh, I've i got a lot more changing to do. Apparently, the six-month to one-year period is where shit really happens. Yeah. Um, and yeah. next That's week... That's where your body pops the clutch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Holy shit. I'm going to Tokyo Drift through this shit. <laughs> also, on top of that, I'm changing my, my hormone therapy from pills to... To injections. Does that mean you have to give yourself more... shots, or is that go to a place and get shot? I have to give myself a shot oh. once a week. Which means that I'll be giving Oof. her a shot once a week. <laughs> Probably, honestly. I'll be honest. Let's be honest here. Yeah. Brittany's going to put a shot in my butt. Yeah. Express gratitude or my to your partner. 
<laughs> On the bright side, though, Brittany, you finally get to stab her. I know. I'm super <laughs> excited, actually. <laughs> Do I get a baseball bat? Um, I used to. <laughs> no. Oh, you that. don't. <laughs> don't want me to start that. Uh, I used to give horses shots, so I think I can handle a person. <laughs> Because horses just, will tense up their muscles really hard and bend the needle. Yeah, just, so. just be sure to rub Michelle's haunches for a little bit just to get her really comfortable. Maybe mm-hmm. have a mm-hmm. handful of oats that you can just mm-hmm. offer. Oh, that sounds really good. We're actually. just putting the oats right into the face mask. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> but yeah, um, or sneak up to her while a- she's grazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, you could make a fun game out of it. Like you could get some hypodermic blow darts. <laughs> oh yeah we're doing all this <laughs> you'd have to go like daily for that though which i'm sure is not a problem or she like depending on the dosage she'd just have to hit you with a really big dart or a lot of small darts yeah, yeah that's what i'm saying daily because it's a it's a lot of liquid yeah. but <laughs> so Brittany, get a lot of darts yeah there we go we got this cool I'm, the, I'm totally looking forward to this Whoa. but yeah <laughs> about six months from now i'll probably do another update because um I, it just seems to a thing that trans women do on the internet so i'm doing it it's I don't know. <laughs> my, my favorite and i needed a topic thing, michelle is that you're breaking like breaking away from societal expectations of yourself but also uh, still like, yeah, but these are the new societal expectations. <laughs> Got to talk about it. Yeah, no, I, I need, I need new rules. I yeah. absolutely need new rules. So, um, but I also just desperately need to talk to people about it. No, I, I just understand. And if you are watching this and think that there's anything hostile about it, there isn't. No, like, no, this is no me treating her like, I've always treated Jairus her. Is what, Jairus is one of my best friends, and he knows exactly how to turn the key. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, it's to been really heart? good. Um, yes. To, what, what, I, what key? I'm going to play this yes and game <laughs> to my heart. We're, you've, you've figured it out. Um but yeah, uh, I kind of, I'm gonna, I'm excited to see where I am at the end of the year. It'll probably be what, like January. I don't know. It's like January, I think. Is we'll see if we live that long. Period. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if we make it to 2021. <laughs> I'll enjoy this last year at least. <laughs> I feel really, I feel really, really weird because like I've had a really good year despite everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's. I mean, that's part of the hard thing, and. Like that just shows how absolutely fucking lucky we are right now. And I'm sorry for mm-hmm, people who aren't, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. you know, there, there is guilt that comes along with that, but yeah, part of it is, I'm also really thankful though. Yeah. Um, and part of it is just helping and supporting people how you can, you know? Mm hmm. Yeah, COVID's a bitch. I am very, very excited to get on the other side of this, but I also don't want us to go back to where we were. Yeah. Like, I know we're kind of jumping subjects here a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but no, no, I, I, like, I follow. Yeah, I agree. Um, I just, like, there's so much torment and terrible things going on right now that, like, I've even had, like, I, I, I pride myself on keeping up with stuff, but I have had to give myself a break lately. Yeah, same. And like I hate that because I want to be invested. I want to be a part of it. Yeah. And but there's what what can I do right now besides you know not throw money get at sick charities? and uh, get other people sick. Yeah, yeah, and I'm I've done pretty good at that. But you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, like the the hope is that we as a country come out the other side of this realizing that words have meaning, that like mm. words mean things, and that. Facts are facts. Facts are facts, <laughs> and humans are not an abstract number. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, that'll depend on a lot of things. So wear masks, wash your hands, vote. Yep, all of those things. Uh, and, uh, you yeah. know, 
on top of all that, if you see someone right now having a bad time, try to be considerate of the times that we live in and try to be extra nice in those <clears throat> cases. Like, don't, you know, there's no reason to be hostile unless there's absolute reason to be hostile. So Unless it's on Twitter. <laughs> That's a free for all. Yeah. That cancel culture is going <laughs> rapid right now. <laughs> Twitter's for buttholes and freakouts. Yeah. Penises. 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 Going into buttholes. Tushy.com. <laughs> Go buy a bidet. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Full circle. Bye. <laughs> Smash, Bye. like, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh,